if you talk about lead prioritization, right, the problem that any salesperson has, I don't believe that this is insurance, I believe that this is sales, period, is you have a preconceived notion from a prior experience. And if you're not a veteran, tenured, successful sales agent, you don't understand what the best next best lead is. I will, I will say openly, and I think this can kind of go either way, there are agents out there that know exactly what to go for and they can cherry pick and they can prioritize, but their results justify what they do. Um, the average agent though, that is not correct. They don't understand enough to know what lead prioritization means. So when we talk about working from lists, you have to have a filtration system in process to work. It's just like a game plan before any athlete goes to their, you know, to, to have their game on Sunday for a football player. They game plan all week. They know what prior what takes priority over another from the coach, from top to bottom, everyone's doing the same thing. It's the same thing for an insurance agency. We have to understand from top to bottom what order we need to go in. If you deviate from that plan and you have different results, there's the reason. So um, yeah, preconceived notions, as you said before, it, it does exist um, and it is a problem in any sales industry. Insurance definitely is a large one of them. Um, but when you create a system like Dr. Cotton was just saying, which we, you know, we can use obviously with, with the vanilla soft program, um, it, it allows you to work the metrics of what you know is taking priority over top of another. And you set that system and you let people go to work. It takes the thinking out of the game, which most people psych themselves out of. Um, agents today, they still drive up to homes and they think in their head, last time I was at this house, um, the, you know, the, the person told me they weren't interested yet. Now I, I'm probably not gonna sell this person. And it just gets in their head. Um, so if, if you have a system in place that they, don't, they take the thinking out of the game, uh, you're gonna have much better results. So, you know, what I'd like to add, I'm sorry, I'd like to add yeah, to that yeah. is, yeah. I've spoken to, you know, to David's point, different people in sales, and they go, well, I'm doing really well. My question is, can you do better, right? Well, so how do you do better? And I think that's a challenge a lot is in sales overall, in my perspective is people do well. Hey, I'm making X amount of dollars. I know, I know the product, I know what needs to sell, X, Y, and Z. But my question is, what if, what if, what if you could do better? Are you interested? And are you utilizing the resources to help you get better? One of the things I'm always fascinated by are athletes. World-class athletes will spend on resources to help them be better. I read somewhere LeBron James spends seven figures a year to be a, a better basketball player. That includes his dietitian, his trainer, X, Y, and Z, right? Uh, why can't we take that same mentality to business where we wanna find every single advantage to help us be better beyond what we think is the right thing or based on our prior success.